A friendly face on foreign soil. Newly appointed Aussie Sevens coach Andy Friend wrapping up a finals campaign with Japanese top league giant Suntory. In less than two weeks, he'll be wearing the green and gold of Australia at the Wellington Sevens, but not in a coaching capacity straight away. We finished our last game on the 23rd. Um, I'll then fly out to uh, Wellington on the 29th and, and just observe the players and the team there in Wellington. The former Brumbies coach waving goodbye to the likes of Skulk Berger and Fouya Dupree at Suntory, with interest in the top league peaking globally, and not just for fans, but from a player's perspective too. To be able to play rugby in Japan is an amazing experience. So anyone who wants to play over here, I'd say come and do it. It's just how that's managed if you're backing up season on season. Friends' last seven years have been here in Japan and he's overseen a rapid rise in rugby. So much so that rugby was the third most Googled word in 2015. All very positive signs ahead of the next World Cup where the Brave Blossoms will play host in 2019. Well, the game's on a, an all-time high at the moment following on from the World Cup. Um, but that was an incredible team that Eddie put together with amazing results, uh, but everyone's now watching. So the important thing now is that the JOFU, with their top league and with their Sun Wolves, um, don't muck it up. And another favourite Aussie abroad has an idea to future-proof the Japanese game. Mark Jerome. I think they really need to sort of get on to help develop a lot of the Japanese individuals as well as their clubs and their, and their sides. To me that can only be a, a good thing for Japanese rugby and I, I personally think Japanese rugby will be far better in the future. And while Mark Gerard is set to stay, it's now all about sevens for friend and bolstering the squad ahead of the Rio Olympics. You could look at the USA, you've got a couple of track athletes there, well, we haven't got that. So if there's someone out there that can run a, you know, a sub 1.6 in the, for a 10 metre perfect, let's, let's grab in. Uh, um, otherwise, though, probably the playmakers, the other big one. I think just watching uh, the Aussies there, we've got some good playmakers, but uh, a world-class one at the moment. I'm not seeing that.